Well, hey everyone, this is Shirisham. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today I have something, a very special university. It's University of British Columbia, or UBC in Canada. Well, I got a ton of requests to review this university, so here it is. Well, if you are on your college admission journey, I want to tell you that I have created a very super powerful guide that is free to download just for you on shortlisting the right fit colleges for you that can literally save you a ton of hours and most importantly, will save you from a lot of stress. It's one guide you must have for shortlisting colleges to apply to. You can download the guide by clicking on the link in the description box. For this video, I will give you an in-depth view of the university and will decode the academic, social and financial aspects of the university with my star ratings. And then I will offer you the most important tips and strategies to get into this university. Make sure to listen closely as I will be sharing the most amazing strategies to get into University of British Columbia. So let's hit it up for UBC. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Well, University of British Columbia is a public research university in Vancouver, Canada. It was established in 1908 and is in the top three universities in the country. UBC offers students hundreds of solid programs in various fields like business, science, engineering, the social sciencing and fine arts as well as amazing sceneries from mountains to beaches all in one package. UBC is well recognized and placed amongst the top world's top 20 universities and the alumni network includes 65 Olympian, over 300 fellows of both American Academy of Arts and Science and the Royal Society of Canada have been admitted with UBC. On top of it, three Canadian Prime Ministers, including Canada's first female Prime Minister, Kim Campbell, and current Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, are UBC alums, yes. UBC is located just 25 minutes from downtown Vancouver. Vancouver is one of the major cities in Canada. It is the third largest metropolitan city in the country with a lot to offer people visiting. From top restaurants to breathtaking views to enjoy, mountains perfect for skiing, students can never get bored of living in the city like that. UBC has two campuses and over four cities across the world. Vancouver campus is about 1,000 acres in area. UBC's striking Point Grey campus covers a peninsula that borders the Pacific Ocean and is bounded by an old growth forest. The architectural styles are a mix of Gothic and modern, and students can enjoy a leisurely stroll through the university's botanical gardens. Notable campus facilities include the Kaiser Building, that is the central hub for engineering, the Barber Learning Center, the Michel Thunderbird Sports Arena, and the Nest, which is Student Union Building. The university also has a smaller campus, which is UBC Okanagan. The most popular majors at UBC include psychology, biology, engineering, English, political science, anthropology, economics, geography, and commerce. Well, although I'm not a big fan of judging a university solely on the basis of the ranking, UBC is still consistently ranked among the top world's top 20 universities and its top three in the country. All right, now let's move on to our next section, talking about the right fit, starting with academic fit. Well, the academic demands are considered intense and all of the students are top of their class from around the world. The academic climate is exactly what you would expect from a university of UBC's international stature. UBC offers more than 270 degree options and most postgraduate programs are fueled by research. And every interested student is given equal opportunity to work in the project of their choice. UBC funds around 8,000 projects every year, giving ample opportunities in every field. With graduate students from all over the world, the learning culture is rich and offer a unique globally engaged setting for rewarding collaborators. UBC also has study abroad programs. They have more than 200 institutional partners in 40 different countries. And co-op programs in engineering, science, arts, commerce, and forestry give students an opportunity to earn while they learn. In addition to that, honors and double honors program are also available to interested students. The faculty at UBC is amazing and at the top of their careers. The professors are extremely intelligent who are truly dedicated to their disciplines. Most of them are research oriented and have various ongoing projects they are working on. They have Nobel Prize winners as well in their alumni. The class size at UBC is small to average. Most classes are less than 50 students, but some first year classes for freshmen sometimes can go anything up to 150 to 200 as well. So keeping all this in mind, I will activate UBC with four stars on academic difficulty and quality level where five is the highest level. Well, after academic fake, let's move to the social fit. Well, social life, like I mentioned earlier, is amazing as well. Social life happens mostly on campus, but largely depends on the crowd you hang with. 
Because the campus is large and student population is abundant, there are many options students can use for their regular day-to-day -day activities. With a broad range of recreational, social, and cultural activities, there's plenty of opportunity to do what you love or master something new. Vancouver's beautiful weather draws students outdoors and to nearby beaches and mountains for inline skating, snowboarding, and swimming. Greek life also exists here, where most of the student party happens. Alternatives include university-sponsored events such as movie nights and many yearly guest speakers. Popular campus events include a storm, the wall, long boat racing, and the art county fair. UBC has about 66,000 students, with 50,000 as undergrad, including both campuses and the rest of the student population as PG and PhD. The university is extremely diverse. It has about 24% student body as international students, which is really diverse. Roughly one third of the students currently live on campus. The dorms are very comfortable and a major part of residential facilities are newly built. Housing is guaranteed for first year undergraduate students. There are many options available, including co-ed complexes, theme houses, university apartments, and family units for seniors and postgraduates. Meal plans are amazing here on residential units and students will find an endless variety of meal options with schools of 45 dining locations, including world-class Japanese, Lebanese, Italian, and vegetarian palates. Also, there are a lot of food and dining options on campus and off campus. UBC is popular in sports as well. The university has produced 65 Olympic medalists. UBC has about 31 varsity teams. The most popular sports include sailing, skiing, and cycling. Men's and women's volleyball and swimming, along with women's ice hockey and field hockey are most popular sports in the recent years. So UBC offers competitive academics as well as good social life. I would like to give it four stars on five on the quality of life. Well, just to on the side note, in Canada, it is a little bit more academic oriented than social as compared to the US. Well, now let's move on to the social fit. UBC falls in an affordable school category. The expenditure depends on the program. You can expect anything about 45 to 60,000 Canadian dollars in annual tuition expenses, with some postgraduate classes going up to 80,000 Canadian dollars like business and medicine, like MBA, dentistry. The housing and dining may fall about 12 to 14,000 Canadian dollars for the most. As far as financial aid is concerned, UBC provides a lot of generous scholarship options. It awards a number of highly competitive merit scholarships along with athletic scholarships and all its sports. Students with research interest can also apply for department specific scholarships too. So overall, I will give it four stars out of five on financial fit. Well, after exploring the fit, let's move to the most curious section on how to really get admission to UBC or triple your chance of getting the admission with my admissions trips and strategies. The ideas I'm going to share now come from my decade-long experience working with students for career and college admission with my company, Mnemonic Education. UBC applies the holistic admission process to all applications. Admission to UBC is competitive and requirements change depending on your degree and campus of choice. All applicants must meet UBC's general admission requirements and English language admission standard. UBC is one of the selective colleges in the country and in the world. The acceptance rate last year was about 52% overall, but it is way lower for international students. They have a 97% graduation rate, which is really, really amazing for a university of this size. Well, to begin with, you need the top of the class academic records from all high school classes or college semesters, including your GRE, GMAT, APs, and SAT. UBC pays special attention to courses that relate to the degree you are applying to. So choose your courses in 11th, 12th accordingly, or if you're applying for postgraduate degrees, choose your college classes accordingly. UBC evaluates questions such as, did you pursue all your academic interests by taking a range of different subjects? Did you challenge yourself by taking ac academic courses, advanced courses? Did you demonstrate knowledge in your chosen area of study by taking courses related to the degree you applied to at UBC? Next, UBC looks for is your achievement beyond academics. The personal profile is an important part of UBC's online application. It is required for most applicants. It gives them a sense of who you are, what you have overcome, and what you have achieved. It also helps UBC access whether you are prepared for university studies and deserving for an entrance scholarship or award by telling them what you have learned about your experiences, your academic and extracurricular achievements, and your leadership qualities. So your profile is super important. Some not so common admission factors include character traits such as curiosity, drive, and vision. UBC has been opening doors for opportunities for people with the curiosity, drive, and vision to shape a better world. So make sure to create a vision that is bigger than you. 
Well, I know for some of you that is too demanding, but with proper guidance, you can do it easily. Well, we do it with our students every day. Also, UBC embraces innovation and transforms idea to action. So make sure to talk about these in your applications or even build your profile around this. Innovation and transforming ideas to action, they are great things. Another thing, essays are important for your application as well. So make sure to create engaging essays or SOPs. Make sure to talk about you as a person, your experiences, and what makes you unique. Now for the LORs, you can choose a teacher or professor who knows you well and can tell you your story, focusing both on your academic potential and your unique personal qualities. For postgraduates, make sure to include a professional LOR with your application wherever required. English is a primary language of instruction at UBC. Before you are admitted, you must demonstrate a minimum level of English for international students. Getting in contact with UBC representative is a good option as well. For postgraduate students, I highly recommend speaking to some professors who will teach you in your master's well in advance. This is important here for postgraduate students. Many courses in UBC and all over Canadian colleges require you to contact a professor first, even before applying. And only after you get a positive response from your professor, you can actually apply. Now, in my experience, this could be really challenging as professors don't reply back for months and in most cases don't reply back at all, like never. So make sure to plan accordingly. Don't rely on the professor reply as this could be the never ending wait. Make sure to apply to some programs where there is no such requirement to contact a professor before you apply, or maybe apply to other countries, maybe US or some other places. You have better admission chances as well. The best way to find out whether your program requires to contact a professor prior to submitting an application is either by checking the program page or by reaching out to admission officers via email, chat, or call. For postgraduates, alumni interviews are a compulsory component of the application process, available on a limited basis. For some postgraduate courses, especially business, there is an online interview that is an integral component of the application. Arts and music programs have portfolio requirements. So make sure to research the requirements well in advance to avoid any last minute surprises. Now, as for the deadlines. For admission, UBC has two deadlines for undergraduate students. First, December for scholarships and for Canadian students. And the other is regular, which is about 15th of January. Make sure to prepare your application according to these deadlines. For all postgraduate courses, they have individual department deadlines with about one or two deadline between September to March, can go up to April as well, every year. In research cases, you will need to get in contact with the professors with your research proposal and on approval, you can go ahead and apply. So make sure you remember this. Well, transfer applications are welcomed as well, depending on the availability with application accepted between October to January, depending upon the course. Well, in the end, to conclude, if you are social, hardworking, research-oriented, overachiever, well-rounded student, UBC is for you. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video. And also, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. If you want to get admission to UBC or other top universities, I would highly recommend you to check out this course on college admission. Well, I've created this course with my 11 years of my expertise and had thousands of students to get admitted to top colleges such as Harvard, MIT, Stanford, and other top colleges around the world. Well, this course packs the most advanced college admission strategies for university shortlisting, profile building, essay writing, college interviews, and everything else that will make sure you get into the dream college of yours. And this course is completely online and do it at your own pace. So you can absolutely, this is a sure ticket for your dream college admission. Well, thank you once again, and I'll be back with another amazing video for you. Till then, this is Shri signing off. Take care, have a good one, bye-bye.